Bussy in the morning, bussy in the evening, bussy at summertime. When you're grabbing bussy, you might end up doing time. Bussy in the morning, bussy in the evening, bussy at supper time. If you're grabbing bussy, you might end up doing time. I think my favorite tagline is, I know how to work it and be seen. So this is when Candy starts working with Lawrence. Candy ain't never been able to do anything for anybody, really. That's right, he did do Mighty Real on a Star, which probably won't get its movie. They ended that show so terribly. So we start the episode with Candy whining about Kim not being signed to her. Well, you should have known better. I mean, you've been a veteran for 20 years in the music industry. You should know better than to work free for friends or you'll get fleeced. I mean, you may not know how to put hair together. You may not know how to put makeup together. You may not know how to put an outfit together, but you should be able to put a deal sheet together. That's your bread and butter. Now, Lawrence sing like he liked pussy. Now that was a vocal, Kim. That was a vocal. Fast forward, that candy-coated entertainment empire didn't happen. Y'all got your restaurants. I don't even think people buying them little bedroom candies no more. Everybody said they were terrible. They just fall apart, mid-use. Imagine, just like a man. Oh, Hefeburus. This ham-fisted, ham-handed attempt at writing basically a song form of a Tyler Perry show. I'm not your closet free. I'm not your closet free. <laughs> Candy said it could be about secret sissies or maudlin mistresses. And Lawrence says, oh, was this a track you wrote for Grand Dragon Zolciak? Oh, shit. Kim just lets her racism slip through. Lawrence, why are you here? Candy, how are you going to develop a new artist when you couldn't develop yourself? Kim says Lawrence will only be able to reach a certain audience. Well, so will you, rednecks. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Candy singing and getting hyped. She feeling herself with that song. Oh, we got a mute. The note didn't mean a thing to you because you wouldn't hit it. I don't know what you, you were pawing at the note, but you wasn't hitting it. Also, why did you give her this song with actual vocal acrobatics in it? It needs to be flat and monotone. She don't know how to do the whoa. You don't know how to do it. You was struggling like I was struggling to get up there. We're down here with every man wants a woman. Well, we ain't up there. So Kim don't love the song and honestly, neither did we. Kim was right, it wasn't a hit. Why are you trying to challenge her a little bit? She can't rise to the challenge. You couldn't rise to the challenge. The challenge was to write a hit she could sing, not play around. Oh God, Nene with Do Nothing Bryce. Oh God, Nene gonna put him in touch with Peter. Peter ain't gonna be able to teach him shit but how to close a business. And a nightclub promoter, you gotta be attractive to do that. Bryce is out. Now we got Cynthia telling Leon, I'm going to marry a bum. Leon said, did you tell the bum you can't wait to marry him? She's like, well, I... You know, I really don't want to, but I guess I better. Insurance and all that. Oh, God, they singing like it's a fucking episode of Glee. <laughs> all that hooting and hollering. Please, you're not making music, you're making a mess. That's noise. An awful din. Andy, why are you trying to get this girl to go high when she ain't got no upper register, no lower register, and no vocal ability, period? Candy said, I'm going to write something to where you sound so terrible, they'll have to keep it in. <laughs> oh, my God. Candy looking around while she's singing like you didn't know that's what the fuck it was. A scratch vocal. Candy, that's a cat scratch vocal. A yowling pussy tee. Oh, she got to go to Jan and get vocal lessons. No, she don't need vocal lessons. For what? Ain't nothing to train. Ain't nothing to coach. Oh, God. Latavia going to see Phaedra in between rehab stints. Ooh, and she look roughity rough, rough, rough. She seems like she's on her feet now, though. Ooh, this Kool-Aid red hair. Mm. 
This Decatur quick weave. Phaedra, you are such a fucking liar. You look fabulous, but then again, you don't know what fabulous looks like because you're sitting here with two cups of Pepto-Bismol on each eyelid. Phaedra said, I, I always come up with ideas for my clients. Yeah, so that you can then fleece them. Telling her she gone do a one-woman show when she in here with the shakes. The heifer got on R&B Divas and wouldn't sing. So she starts telling the Destiny's Child story and she said it was the best thing that ever happened to me. I want to know what was the worst thing that happened to your head because it, it, it clearly is suffering. I think you need to leave it alone and let it heal. She was told, you don't do enough in this group to have an opinion. And that's a moment when you're like, oh, I do. And wop, pop, pop. Michelle knew her place. She knew it. Now I wonder who said that to her, Matthew or Beyonce? I swear the way Phaedra is talking to her, it seems so similar to Phaedra and, um, who's that half uh, Angela Stanton's relationship. Cause I read that book. It's the same description Angela gave. That helpful big sister shit. So now Nene and Kim are at lunch. So Nene's actually trying to open up about her sad little marriage and then Kim keeps saying, that's me and Papa, 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 Papa. <laughs> Nene said, Greg and I have been married for 13 years. Kim is a mistress, a mistress of the night. So now Kim pulls Nene to the car so we can listen to <laughs> Oh God, Kim in her storage unit with this gaudy furniture that she's pretending is overpriced. Oh, we got Cynthia the Hedgehog and her bum. So Peter like, you really gonna marry me? Cause um, I'm about to blow some of this money on a poker game and lose my business. I just need to make sure you can bail me out if need be. Okay, Kim's garage sale fast the fuck. Okay, now Nene and Cynthia show up. Oh God, they uh, this yard sale is, they just needed her to have something to do. Oh God, now Phaedra trying to convince us she having a seven month baby. And everybody's like, what? <laughs> Nene said, I, I don't believe it. <laughs> stop saying that out loud so people can hear how crazy you really are. Just stop. Phaedra, the only reason that they care is because it's such a bold-faced lie that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so now we got Kim getting close with Sheree. Oh, Lord. So shit raised grifters at the Holiday Inn. She don't think he make money. Girl, you don't make money either. Okay, now we got Candy showing up, and I bet you she gonna ask for the, for the paperwork. Child, Kim like, I don't really like the song, and Candy can't believe it. But the shit ain't good. They're not all winners. Some of my videos are better than others. Candy said, do you know what my fee is, fucker? You gonna sit here and whine when you're getting hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of talent for pennies on the dollar? Shut up! Get her, Candy. All right, now we're at Nene's model home rental. And we still trying to get Bryce to do something with his life. 10 years later on the same mission. Oh Lord, Cynthia the Hedgehog and her bum are going to dine with Nene and her bum. That's why they got along so well, those do nothing as husbands. Oh Lord, Peter talked about I used to work at McDonald's and make the donuts at 3 a.m. and I learned from that. How to what? How to what? Oh, Lord. Cynthia, you ain't shit. Greg look good tonight. You may want to rethink that thing, girl. No. <laughs> I don't think Greg has looked good at night since the 70s. Oh, God. Now Greg and Nene getting into it because Greg said Cynthia threw shade. You know, Cynthia, if you hadn't said that shit, the evening might have gone nicely. Child, now we got Peter trying to parent Bryson. Now Nene getting on Greg from not communicating. They just chopping this shit. And now Nene is drunk. You're not a good communicator. Now Nene is drunk in the kitchen. I'm going to divorce his ass. We have no communication. And so Nene says, what if he cheats? Because I guess Greg been stepping out since he ain't got shit to do all day. So Nene's twice as hurt. Now not only are you not bringing home the bacon, but you're spending my money on somebody else's puss? Oh, hell no. All right, well, that was the shit. I'll see you soon.
for something. Don't grab my pussy, don't grab my pussy. I'm your cameraman, I don't wanna be anything more to you, I swear. Don't grab my pussy, I'm not attracted to you. You look like Yoda and the Gollum.